Hey everybody, come on in. We're gonna do a house tour today. In the days before we did our YouTube channel, we had several other houses before this one. This is the very first house that we have ever had somebody build, our very first experience with that. Our other homes were all very small, all fixer uppers. We always made sure we bought a house that was way below our means so that eventually we could save up for the house of our dreams which is this house so we finally reached that goal and have our house built i still haven't finished all of the decorating things and it's a little bit echoey in here you can probably kind of hear that and i'm also having cam build a lot of this stuff and he takes a little while to build those things one of the things we did when we were looking for a builder is we interviewed several builders and a lot of them were like a husband and wife the wife would do all of the designing and decorating and the husband did the construction part we found our builder it was just one guy and he didn't do any decorating type stuff, but that was the right fit for us. His bid was more affordable because they weren't upcharging for the decorating and having the husband and wife team. And I knew I wanted to do a lot of the designing myself, so we saved a lot of money that way. Biggest thing in here is, you'll notice right away, is the windows. That was something I was not willing to compromise on. As I've mentioned several times on my channel before, I suffer from depression. And so one of the things that I really wanted in our house was a lot of light. I knew that was really gonna be important to me, especially in the main living areas. So these windows, they do face full west, but I actually love it because I like to see the sunset every night. Originally, I just wanted a lower ceiling and skylights, but our builder talked us out of that because they, he was saying that the skylights will leak at some point or another. And I'm really glad he talked us out of that because instead we just did the full like floor to ceiling windows. This room, it has 14 foot ceilings. That was not my original plan. I just wanted 10 foot, but it works really well. I'm really glad we did it. I love the open feel. It kind of feels like we're outside and it actually, Cameron's really worried about the heating bills in that aspect. In this home, our electricity bills have been either the same or a little bit lower than our house that was half this size because we did a lot of things with energy efficiency. Another aspect of this room that I really wanted to do was have a lot of symmetry. I am also an artist in addition to the homesteading, so I wanted to make sure there were a lot of things that were symmetrical in our house because I like that. For the bookcases, the bottom cabinets, those were built by a cabinet maker. And then Cameron came in after the fact and he is the one who built all of those top shelves and then we painted it all to match. So we did that to save a little bit of money. Fireplace, it is a wood burning fireplace. For the most part, we don't use that all the time. It's just mostly for looks at this point because we do have an outdoor wood boiler that we use to heat our home. On the opposite side from the living room is the kitchen. And if you watched any of my other videos, I do a lot of cooking from scratch. So we are in the kitchen all the time and everything gets utilized a lot in here. We do have two ovens. They are two separate ranges. The brand is GE Cafe. One of ours is induction cooktop and the other is electric. We looked into buying like a big 60 inch oven, but that was way, way more expensive than just buying two individual ovens. And they didn't offer anything other than propane or gas. So if you follow me this way, I'll show you other things about our kitchen. So right here, this is also a GE Cafe fridge. On the sink side, we did a farmhouse sink. Works really well for having all of these big pots and dishes like I do for canning in this one big spot here. I'm gonna link all of where I got stuff from in a separate blog post and I'll just put it down in the video description so you guys can find stuff if you wanna see it or know where stuff is later. 
Okay, the other thing is we do have a dishwasher in here, but this is a panel ready dishwasher. So it does, it looks like the rest of the cabinets. We just had them build the panel and then we use that. This is a Bosch um, and it works really well. So coming out of the kitchen, right here is where we put our pantry and we have two pantries here. A lot of you guys have probably already seen this already. I showed it in like two, two or three videos ago. Full pantry tour of everything. This is basically our dry storage pantry and it allows me to put a lot of my extra appliances in here that I don't want out in my kitchen. I can just keep them behind a closed door. Right in here is our cold room. It's temperature controlled to be 45 degrees and we store all of our canned goods in here, all of our fermented foods, freeze dried foods, everything that we preserve here on the homestead is in this room. Now we're going to move over to the dining room. Originally in our house plans, we just found them online. They had the dining table out in the middle of this like between the kitchen and the living room and I really didn't want to open the door and just see the dining room so we switched it so it would be kind of its own little space here. It allowed us to have more windows here which I love my windows and my light. I should also mention this we have bigger than average windows throughout our entire home because we also have in this room they are 10 foot ceilings in here but in all of the other rooms we have nine foot ceilings and we still did all of the bigger windows. Normally a builder grade window would be like four or five feet tall, I think. And then these windows are six feet tall. You'll see over in the corner here, I got some <laughs> very sad looking. These were lemon and lime trees. I accidentally left them outside in the cold. And so all of the leaves fell off and then I pruned them back really hard to see if I could kind of get them to recover. No luck yet, but we'll see what happens. If not, I'll just have to get some new ones. Out from the dining room is our mud room. Now we'll turn on the lights in here. We are gonna take a short break from the farmhouse tour to talk about our sponsor for today, and it is Birch Living. Birch makes premium organic mattresses made right here in the USA. One of the reasons that I really love Birch is because their mattresses are so natural and environmentally conscious. Several years ago, when our family transitioned into eating homegrown from scratch foods, we felt such a huge difference in our health and wellness that we decided to slowly transition into using more natural things in other areas of our lives as well. So up until a couple of months ago, I had no idea that a regular mattress contains so many harmful chemicals. In many of those mattresses, there is toxic chemicals in the glues and in the flame retardant that they put on the mattress. Considering how much time we spend sleeping each day and the fact that I am currently four months pregnant, I definitely wanted to avoid breathing those chemicals. Birch mattresses are free of all of the chemicals and that is why I'm so excited to partner with them. I ordered the Birch Lux mattress, a premium upgrade to their original well-loved Birch natural mattress. Even though I've had the Birch mattress for just a couple of weeks, I already love it. And that is saying a lot because when I am pregnant, I do not sleep well. And I've already noticed an improvement on how long I'm sleeping and how well I'm sleeping because it is so comfortable. All the Birch mattresses are made from materials sourced straight from nature. And more specifically, the mattress that we got, the Birch Lux, is comprised of eight different layers of organic cashmere, organic wool, organic cotton, and 100% natural latex. Wool was definitely a big plus and selling point for Cam. He absolutely loves wool and he kind of has an obsession with it. So when I told him that all Birch mattresses have wool, he was like, oh yes, that's definitely the kind of mattress that I want. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, you get 100 days to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. If you're looking for a new bed, definitely check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com forward slash seasonal homestead and get $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. This room came out of having a lot of homes with no storage space. So really big thing for me was I wanted a lot of storage space for all 
of our coats, all of our jackets, all of the shoes, all of the muddy boots. It all gets stored here and I definitely wanted cabinets. Even though it was more expensive to have all the ones with the doors, that was not something I was willing to compromise on because it just gets really messy. So in these cabinets on this side, this is where we store all of our shoes. Then in here, this is also all shoes in this one. And then here, this is all of what we call our lockers, but it's the two doors open to one shared locker. So there's six of us right now. And so it works out well because two people share a locker and we just have our stuff in there. And it allows for a little bit more space. Originally, I had these all in separate little cupboards and cubbies, but the cabinet builder, he changed it so that they were two in one. And I actually really like that a lot better because it does allow for more space. You can put bigger items in there and sharing is fine. <laughs> Down below each of the lockers, we have these drawers here. This is where we put hats and gloves and they're here pretty much year round, both snow hats and hats for sun. On the top, we just have extra storage up here. I got these extra bins so you wouldn't see it all and they're easy to take down and put back up for Cam and I, for everybody else, they have to get a chair, but it's stuff we don't use as often. Over on, this opposite side of the room, this is where some of our freezers are. This is a five cubic foot. I think these two are seven. The nice thing about having individual freezers like this, especially for the deep freezers, is that you can organize things a lot easier. We have a chicken freezer, we have a pork freezer. This one usually houses all of our frozen vegetables. So it all stays really organized. And then as you go throughout the year, if you ever use up a bunch of your stuff in the freezer, you don't have to be freezing all of that space. You can just put a bunch of that stuff in another freezer so you can fill the full freezer and make the most out of the energy and then unplug the other one. My voice is getting hoarse and I need to get a drink. So I'm gonna get a drink from our drinking fountain. <laughs> Mm, good. <laughs> we put the drinking fountain in here. It seems like a big luxury to have in a house, but actually it didn't really cost us that much money because it was a new build. So it was really easy to have the piping put in. And the other part is Cameron was able to find this particular unit on an auction site for $200. And normally I think they're about $2,000 or somewhere in that range. So it's really pretty cheap. The other reason we did this was to save from using cups because the kids will use cups all day long. So this saves a lot of the cups that we use. And also when friends are over, they can just come over here and get a drink and not have to ask where everything is. And then the last piece of this was we have wood floors in the kitchen. And in the past we had a, like the water dispenser in the refrigerator and we have had those fail before and it flood our floors. So we really wanted the a filling water station to be not in our kitchen and separate from the refrigerator. So it's in our mudroom. We have tile floors in here, so it's a much better location for that. Over here is the door to the garage. I'm not gonna show you our garage. It's not very tidy right now but in here is our laundry room. We didn't put a door here. I'm glad we didn't because it's a small passageway and I feel like a door would have just gotten in the way. Even though I know a lot of times you want to like close off a laundry room. Instead, we just close the door to our whole mudroom and then you can't see any of this in here. A little bit further in here, I'll just point out a few things. I asked our cabinet maker to do this floor to ceiling cabinet to be able to house baskets while we were doing laundry in here just to kind of keep things organized. And then over here, I arranged for this little hanging area for our clothes. So we hang shirts up here and then anything that can't be hung gets put on this drying rack here, which fits just perfectly in the space. Over on this side, we have a sink over here to be able to soak clothes or more often, 
if this is actually a door to the outside, we come in and we wash our hands right here because we're all dirty from the garden and everything. And then we're able to walk in the house and not bring in a big mess with us. The reason I put the sink kind of on one side is because I wanted a big stretch here so that I could fold some of my laundry in this area on top of the counters. These drawers, we hold more of our stuff from outside in here like gardening gloves go in here so you can just take them right off and put them in here and they don't get lost somewhere. Becky, where'd you go? I'm in okay. here. This is Cam and I's bedroom. We are on the opposite side of the house than all of the kids' rooms. We love that. We like the separation. We love our kids, but it's good to have some separation as well. A couple things about this room you'll notice. This room is actually really dark. That was intentional. I like the light in the other rooms, but I wanted it dark in our bedroom because it helps me to sleep at night. <laughs> here we're in Cam and I's bathroom. We have our shower over here. This is my get ready area, vanity. I have extra storage cabinet here. We have a very big bathtub. A lot of the construction guys were making fun of me because they said it was as big as a pool. <laughs> but it just fit perfectly in the space. I like my bath, so. It's not like a jacuzzi tub, it's just a regular bathtub. Soaker tub. Yeah, in the past we've had those jacuzzi ones and they get all this stuff in the hoses and stuff and we were like, no, we just want a regular bathtub. And then from the tub, this is just the bathroom in here, toilet in here. And then you go into our closet. This is where Cam gets ready. Let me turn a light on in here. Light, there we go. <laughs> this is the master closet. It's not huge and that was intentional as well. I am not a big clothing person. I don't have a ton of clothing and neither does Cam. We're kind of minimal on our clothing. I don't really love to shop for clothing. It's smaller than would normally be for a house our size. I'll say it that way. This door, it opens up straight into our laundry area. And I love that because it just, it's like, I literally just have to like walk my basket five feet that way and then I can do my laundry. I do not love doing laundry. So anything that makes it easy easier for me is a good thing. Okay, <laughs> now we're back in the kitchen in the living room and I'm gonna take you over to our homeschool room slash my office, I guess you could say. I do all of my editing for the videos in here and we do homeschool in here as well. Originally, our floor plan had a closet in here, but I nixed the closet and instead we just did a bunch of shelving and cupboards for all of our homeschool stuff. I'm really glad we did this instead because I think it allowed us to utilize the space a little bit better in here and it also looks nice. Not much more to the room other than desks and more desks. <laughs> From our homeschooling room, if you come over this way, this is all of the kids' rooms are down this hallway. So we're gonna do the bathroom first. This bathroom is shared by all of my boys. It has an outer area with the sinks and then a door here for especially important for a shared bathroom so that somebody can shower and use the bathroom if they need to while somebody's getting ready in here, although it's boys, so they don't take very long in the bathroom to get ready. There is some open shelving over on this side. Inside here, this is Keen's bedroom. And on this side of the hallway, this is a closet for him. And then in his room, it's just a very basic bedroom set up in here. Nothing crazy, does get a really nice view though. And he doesn't have to share with anybody right now, but we haven't really done a ton of stuff to the kids' rooms. I just let them do whatever they wanted to it. And on this side, this is a shared bedroom. This bunk bed is something that Cameron built. I wanted a bunk bed that was like one from Restoration Hardware. 
the ones that are so expensive. It was way, way more than we were willing to pay. And so Cameron just built a lookalike. They actually have a couch in here. It's because they have the bunk beds, they have a little bit of extra space for the couch. Because this is the biggest bedroom. Yes, this, this is the biggest bedroom for the kids. And then in here, this is just their closet that they share. Also, I did a bigger closet because I knew this would be a shared bedroom for kids. Okay, and then this is just linens in here. And this is our daughter Noelle's room. We recently moved her gymnastics bar in here. This was in our bonus room, but it we got a different gift for Christmas that you'll see in a minute. So we had to put this in here. I forgot to mention earlier throughout all of the house, all of the quilts on the beds, those were all made by my mom on our bedroom. That white quilt was also made by her. Noelle's bedroom also serves as our guest bedroom. So it does have an attached bathroom. It has a stand up shower and just basically a, a small bathroom, but it's nice for Noelle too, because eventually as she grows up, I'm sure she'll be the one who takes the longest to get ready. <laughs> so something that Cam was really adamant about when we built our house is that it all be one story. So this is all one story, even though from the outside, it may look like two, it's not, it's just one story. In a previous house that we had, we had three floors. And after that, we decided all one floor, it's just gonna be so much easier and it is, and it's definitely a house that we could grow old in. Hopefully this is our forever house. If you come from the living room into this hallway, we have a guest bathroom here, just like a powder bath. It just has the toilet and the sink in here. This is really nice because it's right next to our bonus room. When we have guests over and stuff, it's really easy for them to find it both from the kitchen and if the kids have friends over in the bonus room, it's easy for them to access the bathroom. On the opposite side of that powder bathroom, this is just a game closet here. So in case you're wondering where our kids have been hiding this whole time, they are in the bonus room. One of the gifts that we got them this year was a pool table. We didn't get them a new pool table, it's used but Cameron, he picked it up and he refelted the whole thing himself. So we were able to get a really good deal on it and we'll show you it right now. So this is our bonus room. We have the pool table in here now. We used to have some gymnastics stuff in here. Like I told you earlier, her, Noelle's little bars, they ended up in her bedroom instead so that we could have room for this pool table and then on the opposite side here, this is, they've been, the kids have been in here the whole time, so it's not very tidy, but this is just a big couch and we have um, a TV here for when we watch movies. We don't actually have cable or anything like that, but we do occasionally watch movies. So that pretty much wraps up our home tour. As far as like the outside of our house goes and all of the homesteading stuff, I'm hoping to be able to do like a big like farm tour and homestead tour when it warms up and it's actually nice outside later on. So we'll show you that later, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the home tour and we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Leave that for generations. Okay, ready? What do you, we, want, you want a camera? You want to jump back? Ready? We don't break the bed, yeah. I'm 200 pounds. <laughs> Three. <laughs>